But a quick fact before I explain the simple terms that 80% of all the trades that happen in traditional markets are mostly algorithm based and algo based trades. In the previous sections, we discussed the methods of trading, how you can become an active trader and participate in crypto markets. But in this section, we will be talking about the most promising and upcoming trends in trading. And that has also been there for a quite a long time. And that's algo based trading or automated trading. Let us understand how this is different from the traditional form of discretionary trading or manual trading which is based on manually reviewing the technicals and then executing the trade. But a quick fact before I explain the simple terms that 80% of all the trades that happen in traditional markets are mostly algorithm based and algo based trades. And algo based trades doesn't really mean about high frequency trading or HFT. Don't confuse the two. There might be similarities, but they are both very different. The difference between manual and algo based trading is that algo based trading is merely executing trades based on predefined conditions and logics and are not done in real time as in the case of manual trading or discretionary trading. What I meant is that when you're doing an algo trade, you have already decided the methods and the reasons of why you want to take this trade have already preset the equation per se of why and when this trade will happen if you're going to you know, take a call on a long position, how, when, when will it execute? Although when this predefined conditions are achieved or the situation arises, then the trades get triggered and you're already and like automatically taking a position in the market or exiting a position in the market. An important thing is that it also keeps the emotion out of trading. Usually when you're trading, you have a lot of emotions riding because you know, you're skeptical about your risk exposure. Uh, yeah, you, you've taken a long trade, the market's going the other way and you know usually the emotions kick in and it kicks in with every trader. So don't, don't worry, we'll talk about trading psychology in the upcoming videos. Let's move forward. Whereas technical analysis could also be a real-time analysis, meaning that in live markets you could analyze a position and then take up a trade. Thus, technical analysis could be done in real-time where the markets are live whereas algorithms are built in advance. Also, algo trading needs more sophisticated programming and being familiar with coding languages such as Python, C++, R, whereas technical analysis could be done by indicators and real-time data using platforms like TradingView or even simply on the CoinDCX trading platform. So let's now use the CoinDCX API to be able to execute algorithms based trades, but before uh, you know, when we go, we should understand uh, what are APIs. So application program interfaces or APIs are just the interface that defines the interaction between your exchange and your trading platform or your trading tool where you are setting up your algo based trades. What I meant is that CoinDCX API lets you decide what all can be done on behalf of you on the exchange through this uh, code or a bot and connects it to your algorithmic bot or trading platform where you are positioning your trading strategies where you are actually tooling in and even like if you're doing it completely with a programming based interface then it connects both of these uh, applications together it depends uh, on the api and your configurations by the way uh, as to how you can execute the trades usually api allows you to place orders get data get prices track your portfolio go to the profile section, you know, stream all the other data that is that you want to do for decision making in your trades, even withdraw funds, etc. depending upon whatever permissions that you have enabled for the API. So let's head into the CoinDCX platform to understand how this all works. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So as you can see, I've already made an account for myself, but let me uh, let me create an account and give you a step by step start to how you can create your own API keys. Um, obviously, we're not gonna uh, get in deeper sections right now in terms of uh, how this will be used and how you can do your algo-based trades. We'll definitely cover these topics in the advanced sections and we'll probably use another kind of tool or a screener where we can uh, help you strategize on uh, you know, making your algo-based trading strategies 
and also even execute them using coin dcx api and uh, you know position your trades uh, in loops or uh, whatever you want to do with it so let's let's get uh, started on trying to you know give you an example if you just go in and you find on google coin dcx api then you can just uh, also get you know an official understanding of how this api works i'm not going to get into too much detail or technical detail but if you really want to understand how these api keys help you uh, to sign in authenticate your signatures and obviously use any other methods that are available in terms of getting order data or lending or you know executing any kind of trades right now all you need to do is go into coindcx.com and before you can get your api keys you'll need to register if you don't already have an account obviously i have an account i'm going to show you what you know how how i uh, how i can issue a, myself an api key but right now before if you want to uh, you know go into and log into your account before you go into settings and get your api keys you'll need to register so you can register by just filling in your name email id and password and just type in your phone number so i can i can create a dummy account for myself right now just to uh, give you an example uh, on this one i think i don't have a dc account on this one and then i choose a safe password obviously i'll tell you like the best practices the safe practices that we one should follow while making an exchange account uh, but at this moment we'll just keep a very very secure password uh, that you can understand if 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 it's too hard for you then uh, just write it down somewhere or make sure that you have a copy of it and then we don't have a referral code if one of your friends is already using coin dcx you can definitely take the referral code and uh, put it in there so that even if you are uh, trading in the future or whatever trades that you conduct uh, your friend also receives some benefit uh, for you signing up so as soon as you click sign up you would want to receive uh, you know for more security reasons otps two factor authentication is very important so i've received an otp uh, i would have received an otp on my number and my email address and if i if i do so then i'll be able to set up my account i've already got an account so let's just jump in uh, that's how an account looks when you go on coindesix.com and once you're already signed in so as you can see that i'm already signed in uh, with an inbox account and uh, all i need to do for getting the api keys is to just go into my profile and as you can see uh, i've already got a verified account maybe you'll need to verify it before uh, you know you can uh, do more with your account so make sure that as soon as you will go through a step by step process on how you can get your uh, uh, account verified and complete the verification uh, get your bank uh, you know integrated into the platform so that there is seamless uh, buying and sell uh, selling of crypto and for now you all you need to do in your left navigation bar you need to go to your api dashboard and as you can see i even i don't have any uh, api keys uh, for this account at this uh, at this moment and it also shows you what this api key allows you to do what kind of permissions are already uh, enabled when you will create a new api key so let's go ahead and create a new api key where ever you are doing a screening platform or any other uh, uh, trading platform that you're using for implementing your algo based trades or even if you are doing it from a hard coded perspective that you are programming with your friend or you're programming yourself and you are hitting these calls uh, from your server then directly you will need to access it and authenticate yourself by using these api keys so let's create an api key and let me uh, i'll have to give it a label that means what uh, you want to you want to you want to use it for so for example all these labels help you if this api key was for an account that was specific to a certain instrument or a certain uh, type of trading style that you do traders have multiple accounts i've got multiple accounts myself because you want to take some positions uh, in one account whereas you want to you know long some positions at one place and if you're going at spot prices you can't just short the market you will have to make another account and probably you want to maintain like those so you can label it out let me just label it as a uh, dcx uh, uh, trading program and uh, and it says send otp so as soon as i would send uh, you know an OTP then a six digit OTP would be going to my device and and hence it's gonna you know be created 